Hello everyone, this video shows you how to use the adjustable voltage power supply. Next, I will introduce the connection method of the adjustable voltage power supply and how to use it. Let's first look at the materials and tools used. This is the dual digital display adjustable switching power supply. They are the alligator clip power cords. A pure copper core and national standard three plug input power cord. The auxiliary tools used are cooling fan, which needs to cool the hash board. A screwdriver to secure the power cord. A multimeter is used to measure voltage. Then we need to connect the power cords to the adjustable power supply. First, we need to know the interface of the adjustable power supply. Here is the interface of the AC input. This symbol represents the GND. These two symbols represent the negative pole of the DC voltage output. Here is the positive pole of the DC voltage output. Green is connected to L of the AC input. Blue is connected to N. And yellow is connected to GND. Then the black of the alligator clip power cord is connected to the negative pole. And the red is connected to the positive pole. Next. We first use a screwdriver to connect the power cords to the adjustable power supply. Alright, we've got the power cords all connected and power up the adjustable power supply. When we test the voltage of the hash board, be sure to use a cooling fan to cool the hash board. Use Antminer T17 hash board for demonstration. The input voltage of T17 hash board is about 18 volts. After the power cords are connected, the voltage needs to be adjusted to about 18 volts. We connect the alligator clip power cord to the hash board and the black end to the negative terminal of the hash board. Because we did not use a test fixture, so here the red end is connected to the copper conductor behind the MOS tubes on the hash board. We first adjust the voltage to about 18 volts. This is the voltage adjustment switch. Then here is the current adjustment switch. The current can be adjusted automatically. Adjust the multimeter to the DC voltage gear. And then test the 0.8 volts and 1.8 volts power supply of the hash board.
well, the multimeter shows that the 0.8 volts and 1.8 volts power supply for this hash board is normal. This is the method of using the adjustable voltage power supply to test the voltage of the hash board. There is no time limit during the use process. In the process of repairing the hash board, it is convenient for us to quickly measure the voltage of the hash board. The use of the adjustable voltage power supply has been demonstrated. Please send a message to us for more information. Thank you.